Today we're at AVC 2013, the Autonomous Vehicle Competition. This is where a bunch of roboticists and hobbyists bring their uh, robots and they have to navigate a course autonomously. We have ground robots and we have aerial robots and right now they're competing at the same time on two different courses. Basically you press the button, you stand back and then it's hands off until the end of the race and the robot has to make it through the course on its own. The first team is beginning in eight minutes. Are you guys ready? In the ground competition, we have a simple course. It's an oval course with a few obstacles on it. Each player gets 300 points, and then they have five minutes to complete the course and still get a time bonus. One second is one point deducted from that 300 point pot. Every corner that they make, they get 25 bonus points that they keep regardless of if they finish the run or not. And then if they hit the hoop, they get 50 points, and then there's also a ramp, and if they hit the ramp, they get another 50 points. There are barrels on the course that they have to avoid, which are painted bright red, and they can do that optically or with whatever sensor they want to, as long as they just don't get stuck on the barrels. They can hit them as hard as they want, just don't get stuck. <laughs> Yeah, you're done. Uh, what a great shot! Fast and furious, this guy's a man. But no, just enough. I think that counts. Yeah! I'm here with Team OX27. This was the bot that won last year, right? Uh, it was. We have modified it a bit. We're running it actually on uh, six cells instead of four cells that we were running it on. We have a new GPS that uh, we have been able to get sponsorship from Omnistar to get us uh, RTK corrections to be able to get an accuracy of about five centimeters. Last year, Barrel, uh, I think, just flew into the pond. Can we expect that kind of uh, oomph from this guy? Well, the oomph from flying around, yes, but hopefully not hitting your barrels. Tiny automatic brains in giant airliners, sensitive to the slightest change in balance or direction, relieve the busy pilots of the job of keeping the wings level, the nose on the horizon, and the plane headed in the right direction. The aerial competition actually takes place over the water here at the Boulder Reservoir. They can take off autonomously for extra points, so or they can be navigated up by a human operator and then put in autonomous the mode. So From the then, it has to fly out over the water, come right? down over a peninsula, and it has an option to try to drop a tennis ball this, onto the peninsula. You know, if it makes cool, that drop, it gets bonus points. Nice then it continues on past a wicket, which is essentially like a football goal. If it makes it through that field goal, it gets some extra points, and then it has to land autonomously in the landing zone.
Get to me.